And welcome back. Um, some of you guys have got this new Roku Express. Want to know some of the features and settings off of this thing. So we're going to go through it. That way you guys are familiar with it. If you guys are brand new to the channel, uh, hope you guys consider subscribing. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Got tons of stuff on this device. Always interested here. So let's come here and check this thing out. Okay. Here's the Roku. And it's a pretty good device. It does all the basic stuff. If you have like Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, um, has tons of options here, tons of apps. And of course, you could do add channels, TV off. There's a lot of things you can do. Now, we're going to come here to the settings. Super important. Everybody wants to know what you do. Now, if you do come to network, this will give you all the information that you want about your network. I don't want to mess with it. So you guys will see all my info. So there you go. When it comes to remote and devices, you could actually add remotes. Um, what I don't like about this is you keep clicking right and right and right and right and just go, it gets very, very deep. And then you click, click to the left just to come back. We already have our working remote, so we should be good to go. When it comes to theme, you come here and you get like different theme packs and it's pretty nice cause it actually changes like the whole background and stuff. So it, it's, it's pretty cool right now. There, there's only seven of them, but you could do wallpapers, different types of wallpapers, different types of screensavers. You could do different types of sounds. There's seasonal wallpapers. So it, right now it says on for recommended. Um, you also have sponsored. If you want that, it says from time to time, wallpapers can change to celebrate TV shows, movies, events, brands, whatever it is. I probably would have this off. Um, you have wallpaper animation, screensaver, start time, restart default themes. So personally i probably would just pick a th pick like seasonal is fine but i would probably turn some of the rest of this stuff off just to save storage it's only 512 gigs of or 512 megabytes of ram so i don't want this thing to be like taxed too much and i'm going to do a whole video on things that you should turn off to make sure this device stays strong um so yeah so that's how you get to that for your display type Automatic is good. Right now it's picking it up at 1080p. This is a 4K uh, capture card and it's reading it. It's reading it of the full capacity of the stick, which is 1080p. Um, accessibility, got those options. Audio, this is really important if anybody has any issues with audio. You have your preferred language, preferred streaming format. You could do auto, either Dolby, DTS, whatever you want. Auto is always good. Just let the system pick whatever it's going to like the best you do have a digital output format so again i would do auto you could do stereo and custom guest mode you could actually mess with this mode on the website where when you turn this guest mode on there is a pin and then it pretty like pretty much the guests could sign into their own stuff keep their account secure it prevents from unwanted purchases stuff like that that's how to do it um, home screen you do have a live tv section Watch TV featured for free sports and shortcuts, which you can hide. If you don't want live TV, you could hide it if you want. Same thing with what to watch. And when it comes to Apple AirPlay and HomeKit, again, this is it's going to be more information off of that. Legal notices. People are going to want to know about privacy, terms of use, accounts, third party licenses, stuff like that. That's what you can do. Um, you do have a privacy. So advertisements. Um, if you click on this stuff, personalize ads or resetting them. Now, by ticking this off, some people might say like, well, I, I don't want, you know, I don't want personalized ads at all. So with personalized ads, you'll see ads tailored to you. This setting controls ads served by Roku across your Roku devices and services. Your installed streaming channels will also be asked to honor this setting for ads that they serve. If this setting is not checked, you'll still see ads but they'll, they'll be uh, less relevant to you. So I know some people say like, oh, you should turn this off and turn that on and whatever. If you turn this off, you just might get some random stuff you don't want. So keep that in mind. You do have your voice. So you got microphone access, speech recognition, um, use my voice and stuff like that. So it's not too bad. Um, and again, back to like privacy policy and stuff like that. So good stuff here. When it comes to help, you have your tips and tricks. This is actually a really an important page here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on this thing. It's going to do and add a channel to your stuff here. Um, what this does, it gives you all the tips and tricks that you're going to want. So I'm going to do a whole separate video on just this. So that way you guys are aware of how it works, but it's pretty good. Um, and then when you come here to uh, system, this is your about, 
your zip code, your time, control other devices, language, screen mirroring, software update if you need to, system restart, and then advanced settings. Now, advanced settings, you can factory reset. You could check your network connections, device connections, and just more advanced options here. So, yeah, there's a ton of options when it comes to this Roku device, and I mean tons of options here. So, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. There's so many things here that you can do with this thing and everything is set up really, really simple. If you have like a really basic TV that's not smart and you're like, I want to put this in the kids room, this should be really easy to use. I would definitely put a pin so that way they're not purchasing stuff left and right though. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Again, um, try to get you guys the basics of this stuff and it is pretty simple to use. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. With all that being said, you guys take care, take care of each other. See you guys in the next one.